So here we go. Remember this painting? It's kind of crooked. Yeah, that, that's called style. It sold. Yes, it did. I didn't get what I asked for, but me and the buyer came to an agreement. So in this video, I'm going to show you how to ship this bad boy. I'm going to take it down to the uh, UPS Center. This is, a, I believe it's a 24 by 36 uh, stretch canvas. These are the sides. It's actually not that thick. Uh, it's done all in acrylic and it's about to get out of here. I'm gonna go ahead and slam my signature uh, probably over there in that corner and you know we can see how how much this costs to ship. So come on and take a trip with me and um, hopefully this will be some good information for anyone who's trying to ship an extremely large painting uh, to someone and how to adjust your prices for time and travel. I think you're awesome. Really awesome. And uh, everything about you is awesome. I don't think you actually know the capacity of your awesomeness. But um, it's about time you All right, let's go. All right, so which um, UPS store are we going to? And that's about an hour away. See, then we got to factor in gas. For me, all this type of stuff kind of plays a part in how I do my shipping and how you should do your shipping. It's okay, baby. You're on your way to your new home. Almost there, right? Yeah. All right, let's go in here and see what they ask you. styrofoam to stop panel. it from going bending it and okay. also cardboard box so okay. it's going to be a panel underneath and a panel on top okay so that it's completely protected and on the edges there's even something where we put like a um, cylinder okay of cardboard so okay. that it's nice and protected on both sides all sides okay does it make sense yes mm, okay gotcha thank you so you will be protected <laughs> 73 and because of the weekend it would arrive by ground on Tuesday 166.73 now if the packaging is going to be for this project mm -hmm. roughly another $30 so, so what we're looking at is just under two actually it's like what I'm going to say or maybe better maybe more like 189 but I don't think it will be any less than that as you see, we still have the painting. The price they asked was way too much. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna try to wrap this thing myself and we're gonna get down to the uh, USPS store and see if I can get a better price, which, which means that's gonna be the only price I can take. So follow me. All right, so we know what happened. I'm not paying that price. Let's see what we can do with some bubble wrap tape and some board of the card variety first thing I notice is I'm taking this bubble wrap back I'm gonna take that back take it back to the store take it back to the store take it back to the store okay that's like buying one shoe when you were promised a pair you know that that's like buying a peach when you were promised a pair that's like buying a pant you were promised a pair. This is a broken promise. You know the rules. Take it back. All right. Well, this is how it looks so far. And this is the back. Now it's time to wrap it. Well, and some cardboard. This is the other side of it. It's a very, very large painting. 
Um, I think it looks pretty good. It, it, it came together okay. Right, now we just gotta mail it. So in the end, what did it cost me? Well, let's look at it. There were bubble wrap, $5. We used about one and a half of those, which came to $7.50. We used a whole roll of tape, which is $1.50. And then we had two of those large boards, which were about $2 a piece, so let's just say $4. Actually, shipping was about $17. I lost the receipt, so I can't give you the change. But it was about $17. All in all, let's just round it up a little bit to about $32. Bucks. There you go.